I'm afraid. Um, excuse me. I have a few questions. How about the numbers game from the Illumination Field? That's my speciality. It's very simple. This proved the Koperskian formula for me. No problem. Let's go. Okay, I'll start to count then. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But that's impossible. I just can't find her. What would Copper say about this? Not as stupid as she looks, that girl. Someone who you can really talk to. me. I have a few questions. Okay, no problem. I have a few questions about ghosts. Ghosts? Mm, that's not my field. My strengths lie in mathematics and puzzle solving. It's best to ask mother about ghosts. She knows them very well. interrupt you a moment? Yes, please. What's this long story about gypsies and ghosts again? The old alliance between gypsies and the dead? You're brave, but it takes quite a while. Have you got enough time? Sure, I have some time. Then, let's start at the beginning. The first signs of ghosts date back to around 2000 BC. But it's likely that ghosts have been speaking to humans from the beginning of time. But humans didn't always have the gift of being able to listen to them. The first evidence of this was uncovered in the desert of... And in fact, the Holy Grail originated from the same source. But the English found themselves at war against the European mainland. So, even today, Pete to dispose of the Grail again and free himself from... As you can imagine... He had to... Well, so the wheel comes full circle. Uh, and what was all that about Peppino's sister again? Uh, forget her. She was more surface than substance. Ah, oh, I understand. That figures. What a lot of information. Yet another day of revelations. Well, stories about ghosts have many bizarre but interesting aspects. That's enough about aspects, madam. Allow me to enlighten you regarding some interesting aspects of this agreement. Here we go again. It's all stated here in the contract, madam. Nobody can understand this contract. The language is so... Hey, that's an important... It's too late now. You should have said that before you signed the contract. But what can... Hey, that's an important piece of evidence. Hand... Well, there's nothing you can do now. A mistake I wouldn't in the know how my almost unbelievable knowledge of languages could help you. And that is impossible. 
I wouldn't know how my almost unbelievable knowledge of languages could help here. And you have never made a mistake before? No, never. I wouldn't know how my almost now, unbelievable knowledge of languages One could help you. With the children. Nobody can understand Can I interrupt you a moment? Yes, please. What's this long story about gypsies and ghosts again? The old alliance between gypsies and the dead? You're brave, but it takes quite a while. Have you got enough time? Sure, I have some time. Then, let's start at the beginning. The first signs of ghosts date back to around 2000 BC. But it's likely that ghosts have been speaking to humans from the beginning of time. But humans didn't... The first evidence of this was uncovered in... Traps are my speciality. Out with the carrot! Hmm. Now, old lad, what's your name? interrupt you a moment? Yes, please. What's this long story about gypsies and ghosts again? The old alliance between gypsies and the dead? Huh, you're brave, but it takes quite a while. Have you got enough time? Sure, I have some time. Then, let's start at the beginning. The first signs of ghosts date back to around 2000 BC. But it's likely that ghosts have been speaking to humans from the beginning of time. But humans didn't always have the gift of being able... The first evidence of this was un... It's all stated here in the contract, ma'am. Nobody... Oh! A carrot! <gasps> What's happening to me? I need to... Uh, uh, bury it! What was that then? Forget it. It won't help if we simply throw the document away. Why not? He has another copy. Uh, two, to be exact. We should be able to find a crucial error in it. One that will invalidate the entire document. Let's have a look then. As silly as this sounds, nobody can understand the thing, so you'll probably just be wasting your time. We'll see. Confucius says... In this object, I may not materialize as either water or steam. Bonifacius! A document? Let me have a look at that. Hmm. It should not be a problem. However... What do you mean, however? Well, if it's not some godless text. Hey, everything has its limits. Very well, very well. Maybe I'll make an exception. Maybe? I'll get on to it right away. Wait a minute. Mm. So, we have it. It's translated. You see? An agreement. I never want to be bothered with a thing like that again. I should go and wash my hands. Respect. I beg your pardon. I have been going around with a pirate who never set sail on the high seas. Strictly speaking, he hasn't even left the harbor. It's all stated here in the contract, madam. Nobody can understand this contract. The language is so... It's too late now. You should have said that before. That won't help me escape. 
It's too late now. You should have said that before you signed the contract. But what can we do now? <laughs> well, there's nothing you can do now. A mistake in the contract can I would be the only you a possible way out. Yes, please. I'm going back out into the fresh air. And that is impossible. I wrote and checked the contract. Respect. I bet that cannot be. The deadly death trap is failed. I better not let them catch me. I can't explain that. I have been going around with a pirate who never set sail on the high seas. It's all stated here in the contract, madam. Nobody can understand can this Can I contract. interrupt you a moment? The language... Yes, please. What's this long story about gypsies and ghosts again? The old alliance between gypsies and the dead? Huh, you're brave. But it takes quite a while. Have you got enough time? Sure, I have some time. Then, let's start at the beginning. The first signs of ghosts date back to around 2000 BC. But, but humans didn't always... The first evidence of this... Traps are my speciality. Out with the carrot! I have the feeling that the carrot is intended for greater things. He doesn't understand the question. Then just try a little harder, you big shot language expert. interrupt you a moment? Yes, please. What's this long story about gypsies and ghosts again? The old alliance between gypsies and the dead? Huh, you're brave. But... Sure, I have some time. Then, let's start at the beginning. The first... But it's likely that... But humans didn't... The first evidence of this was un... It's all stated here in the contract, madam. Nobody can understand this contract. The language is so. It's too late now. Confucius says, in this object I may not material... But what can we do now? <laughs> well, there's nothing you can do now. A mistake in the contract would be the only possible way out. Oh, a carrot! <gasps> What's happening to me? I need to uh, uh, bury it. What was that then? That doesn't help me, unfortunately. you a moment? Yes, please. What's all this funny business with the lawyer then? Well, so, stupidly we signed an agreement which he now keeps waving under our nose. It's allegedly to authorize the old cutthroat to drive us out of here. And that's what he says anyway. The slimy sewer. Why did you sign the agreement when you really didn't want to? The State Bank of Transylvania 
and didn't read the small print. What do you think? Of course we read it all. We just didn't understand it. The thing has been written in finest Romanian officialese. That's like a damned foreign language. Well, and now he's been coming here day in, day out, from the dawn till shortly before the funny thing. And he also moves in a rather odd way, don't you think? A bizarre story, as you... I'm going back out into the fresh air. Excuse me, I have a few questions. Go on, I'm listening. Didn't you say earlier that you were good at puzzle solving? Puzzle solving? That's my speciality. Why? I might have something here from the field of, uh, jurication. The, uh, what? Jurication? This field is completely unknown to me. Well, look here. The question is, is this document correct or incorrect? Good. Then let's have a look. Hmm. This reference is paragraph 14. Well, let's have a look. Ah, paragraph 36 is significant, but only if... No, no. Strange. Ah, I thought so. Section 278, second paragraph, fourth clause is brought into play. But not when... Hmm. You take into account section 487, paragraph 3, clause 4. Hmm, the female accused, the female accused, the female accused? Ha! I've got it! The document is clearly incorrect! Really? How so? Well, don't you see it? According to paragraph 73, in conjunction with paragraphs 317 and 67, it, if clause 1 of paragraph 673 and the footnote of paragraph... Uh... Is there a short version? Um, okay. This concerns my... let's say, my mother. Okay. What about her? Well, perhaps you've noticed that she's having something of an identity crisis. Um, uh, well, uh, uh, happens to us all sometimes, eh? In any case, the accused is clearly here designated as a female. Yes, and... Mrs. Mrs. Get it? It should say Mr. And according to section 867B, the document is therefore invalid and false. That was easy. Have you got any more? Um, unfortunately not. But many thanks for your help. It's all stated here in the contract, madam. Nobody can understand this contract. The language is so... What is it now? We found a mistake in the contract. Well, that's a good bit of news. And what's that then? Well, uh, he's assuming the person who signed was a woman. I was, in a manner of speaking. But not really. Hmm, I see. So, does that make the contract invalid? As soon as we have proof of the, uh, circumstances. I must. Exactly. Nothing could be easier. So, mister, the document is only valid for women. Of course. It was also signed by you, madam. Honoured lawyer, valued witnesses, I present Exhibit A. Oh my God! I feel sick. Everything is spinning. The wolf is, or was, a were man. A grisly looking creature. Get out of here! I can handle him. Without the lawyer, the day might still be fairly bad. I'm speechless! He was a were man! They really exist! Every night, the poor beast is transformed into the most terrible human creature you could imagine. A lawyer! Oh! And what is he? A ghost? And does he want to join us? 
Yes and no. With animals, it's a bit different. He can't really understand us and won't accept commands. So far, that applies to William, too. But, Mary, he will let you see things through his eyes. Animals are generally of the opinion that humans should look at it from their perspective more often. What? How? Do you mean... Why should I keep talking? Go on, just try it. You did well with that lawyer, I must say. I could never have done it alone. I'd like to use your transmitter to catch a ghost soul. Hmm. We actually never do that intentionally. Do you have a strong bond with the ghost? Is it likely to be close by? Not that we want to lure Napoleon into the booster sphere. Or Attila the Hun. I imagine that would be pretty unpleasant. I think the link is fairly strong. We shall see. I need the ingredients for the ritual. The air humidity in here is still not high enough. As the soul flux runs underground and our antenna is pointing upwards, the probability of catching any ghosts isn't very high. You must bring the ingredients for the ritual. Yellow mushrooms, some truffles and a rabbit. 